We are currently in the project space in the Practice and Place exhibition, which is an exhibition of works by 10 artists from our Fruit Factory Network programme. Um, which was an artist development programme run between 2019 and 2020. The programme was made to support early career artists based in Hull and is centred around four visits across the north of England to introduce the group to examples of leading arts institutions and art professionals working across the UK. The programme also included advice surgeries where the group worked with industry experts to develop professionally we covered topics such as proposal writing, fundraising, marketing and the process of commissioning and the production of work for an exhibition which all fed into the development of Practice in Place. For a lot of the artists this is their first time showing work in the contemporary art space. What the show demonstrates is the diversity and the range of creative practices happening currently in Hull. The exhibition also didn't set a theme for artists to respond to, however when presented collectively, similarities in the artist's work emerged. For example, Jesse Davis's textural estuary paintings are based on observations the artist made in the reed beds of the Humber Bank, and these environmental concerns in Jesse's work are also present in Lawrence Saunders' interactive drawing Roots, which is visually inspired by plants and wildlife to explore the relationships between humanity and nature. On the other hand, some of the works also comment on the fragile concepts of the home and place. For example, Lucy Howson in her sculptural painting, Welcome Home, repurposes the broken window from when the artist's house was broken into, and she's used that to create an original work which recreates the scene as part of this exhibition. And concepts around the home also are present in the Diraz work, the Diraz are an artist family of five and they are a collective group and they've presented nine collaborative paintings titled What Home Means to Us, which recall their experiences of how the family have been shaped and grown from the journey from the homeland in the West Sudan and through the refugee camps in Libya and Egypt. The gaze in relation to photography is explored in the works of Miles Noble and Ruby Deverell. Ruby uses analogue photography and double exposure techniques in 35mm film, merging imagery to reveal hidden aspects of the characters in her work. And Miles, on the other hand, is overtly the subject in his work. In Critical Paths, he documents a first-person account of the interior and landscapes captured over a reflective period, with one of these being a hospital where his mother was in treatment for terminal cancer. Two of the artists approached the commission to push the boundaries of the materials they worked in. Wilf Holloway's two entitled paintings are inspired by the architecture emerging in the fruit market development, which is where the gallery is situated. And in these paintings, Wilf has completely abandoned traditional paint and has opted to create bold geometric forms made entirely of felt. And in a similar vein, Sam Metz has produced two choreographic objects and what these are are translated movements into sculptural form and the artist has also translated these into animations and as a neurodivergent artist Sam's interested in exploring non-verbal forms of communication and this is articulated by having these elements interact with each other in a physical space. The two remaining artists, Nash Hales and Will Vinegrad, comment on the pace of the outside world through producing colourful and surreal works. Nash invites the viewer to take a moment of pause in front of her surreal paintings by incorporating a soundscape made up of electronically produced ducks quacking to create an immersive experience in front of her paintings. Will Vangrad's work typically depends heavily on performance and interacting with a live audience but as a result of lockdown, he was forced to use what limited materials he had available to seek respite from the crisis, and as a result has produced these two mixed media collages which are now presented in the project space.